Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi have uh, launched uh, the initiative of Decent Life, uh, which is uh, going to raise the standard of living of more than 53 million uh, Egyptian citizens. Uh, also, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi have uh, allocated the year 2022 uh, to be the year of civil society. To shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have this phone with uh, Dr. Amani Hula, a human development expert. Good morning. Good morning. Well, uh, Dr. Hula, um, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi have uh, allocated the year uh, 2022 for the civil uh, society. And uh, in light of the uh, initiative of a Decent Life, uh, how does uh, the uh, civil society support the Decent Life initiative? Uh, actually, the um, uh, civil society has the keys to the people uh, uh, by the school details. Uh, official paper cannot tell. So uh, it's very important for uh, this initiative to expand more and to uh, achieve success to reach people by uh, uh, the organizations who know the details about them, who are living in the same environment, who have the uh, uh, priorities to, to, to tell what to do first and what to make a uh, uh, better life for them. Yes, uh, Dr. Hula, uh, you are uh, um, uh, a member of uh, the uh, non-governmental uh, uh, society uh, uh, providing help for uh, people uh, uh, of uh, low standards or uh, people who are uh, needy people. Um, could you give us uh, uh, your insight concerning the importance of the, the NGOs uh, uh, providing help to uh, the uh, or uh, the cooperation, coordination uh, between the NGOs and the, the Decent Life Initiative launched by President Sisi? The most important point in what you are telling, you are asking about is how to improve the people's lives, not by giving supplies or supporting them with the, um, material help, but by improving their skills and changing their culture. Um, for example, if you just give them food, they will finish food quickly and they will need more. But if you teach them and uh, uh, train them, uh, vocational training, uh, improve their uh, environment, give them a, a better education, a better uh, skills, you will improve them forever. This yes. is how we are thinking and this is how the initiative is working. By uh, giving uh, training, uh, finding more uh, chances for uh, work, uh, by uh, helping people to uh, uh, get uh, better choices, uh, not only uh, receiving a supply. <clears throat> Yes, uh, Dr. Hula, um, how does uh, the Decent Life uh, Initiative uh, enhance uh, youth uh, potentials? If you see the uh, army of volunteers working on this initiative, you will feel so happy. And you will know that actually the good uh, behavior is in uh, our nation uh, to the end of life. Really, yes. they are working hard with us. Uh, uh, no more return, just they are still so happy and insisting and uh, uh, accelerating the uh, process and uh, you will feel so proud of them. Yes, uh, uh, um, uh, Dr. Hula, uh, uh, recently uh, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli uh, have inspected uh, the uh, Decent Life uh, uh, Initiative uh, and uh, said uh, in his statements uh, while inspecting uh, the Decent Life Initiative that uh, uh, the first stage is going to end by December. Uh, give us your insight in what stage uh, is now the Decent Life uh, uh, Initiative? Uh, actually, they classified the uh, initiative because it's very huge. Can you imagine it's a project uh, uh, concerning half of the uh, uh, community of the uh, population. So we are talking about a huge project. So they, uh, it's classified according to geographic and um, uh, uh, most uh, needy people or uh, most uh, more uh, poor uh, areas. Uh, so, they already started uh, um, uh, for Egypt, uh, the rural areas, 
who are neglected for many decades and they need uh, severe uh, uh, emergency help. Uh, they started with them and achieved a lot of the uh, 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 numbers. Uh, well, many of them are about to finish and they start now new stage. But this uh, organization way of uh, classifying the uh, schedule is, uh, I think, is very good for the NHS. Yes, yes. Dr. Hona, the, uh, the initiative of Decent Life, uh, when it first started, it started with Upper Egypt. And Upper Egypt was uh, 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 governed rates uh, that were neglected uh, um, uh, years ago before President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi came to office. But since the president uh, started in uh, office uh, and he gave very good uh, care and attention to uh, Upper Egypt governor rates. This is true, actually, and I'm so happy with that because yeah, before I used to think we need a miracle to change their life because they are really um, neglected, uh, not educated, having a uh, really uh, low standard uh, uh, life standard. But uh, they, they were suffering a lot, starting from medical to social to uh, uh, all the. Uh, Side of the, their life was very uh, poor. But now we have uh, like a magical sector changing many uh, of them, uh, help, giving them uh, better choices, uh, giving them a hope at least. And if you cannot change the, the whole uh, dramatic uh, uh, problem, but at least you change most of them, you give hope for the others to improve and to accelerate. Yes, uh, Dr. Hola, um, how do you see this entire initiative uh, as one of the um, uh, very big and very um, uh, uh, good uh, and uh, providing help not only for the poor people or just raising the standards of the people, but also an, a great, uh, 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 huge uh, uh, initiative and project uh, uh, that is going to last for years uh, and would provide job opportuni opportunities uh, for uh, the Egyptians and also uh, attracting uh, the uh, youth and the young people? You know, when you, ask, you are asking somebody who um, is not um, away from the uh, uh, site, he cannot be uh, fair. But if you are listening to the others who are uh, away from the, uh, our uh, environment, you will know the truth. This uh, uh, initiative is um, recognized and um, uh, all the people in the uh, 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 great uh, uh, organization worldwide uh, was impressed and uh, recognizing this initiative as one of the greatest uh, initiative uh, happened uh, in history. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, how uh, uh, important is also the participation uh, of uh, uh, women in this uh, uh, initiative of uh, Decent Life uh, as uh, 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 in uh, the uh, considered a, a sustainable development, uh, uh, especially in the small and medium uh, projects? We can say that uh, President Fattah Sisi discovered the key word of the, uh, the de development and uh, uh, change of the uh, uh, culture of people by using uh, the, the women. Actually, uh, if you, comp you compare between developing and developed countries, you will discover the main uh, factor makes difference is the uh, circumstances of the women in the society. You can never find a well-developed country uh, with uh, um, bad uh, circumstances with the uh, women in, uh, in the society. Yes. So if you change the women's uh, life and improve their skills and give them uh, a chance to participate, you will discover the big difference will be happening in the society. And this is what's happening now, uh, starting from educational, medical, social, uh, all the kinds of uh, support to widows and uh, uh, 
um, uh, brave women, uh, brave uh, women ladies, uh, are giving them a chance to uh, improve their skills and so to have the the whole process of the uh, development to be accelerated. Yes, uh, Dr. Hula, uh, to what extent do you see the importance of the Decent Life uh, Initiative in uh, developing um, uh, housing, uh, the, uh, developing uh, the standard of living, uh, uh, providing uh, uh, suitable uh, uh, houses and suitable uh, life for uh, people? You are talking about the very primitive and very logic uh, simple needs is to uh, people to just start to have a, a better uh, uh, factor to start to improve their life. I and mean, how can you ask somebody uh, to be a good person if he cannot find a house? If he yes. uh, is very bad. But this is very important and very uh, logic uh, needs. We su support to uh, provide them to to, to start. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a start. It's not a. Uh, yeah, you are finishing something. We are starting. Yes. Better something. Yes. Yes. I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information, Dr. Amani Hula, human development expert. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Well, uh, with this, uh, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of The Breakfast Show. I was in the company of my colleague, Mahisti Rabia, and, uh, and my name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching.